fake newsreels. They're fake newsreels. For the past ten years, people have been looking at our fake newsreels and listening to our fake commentary. And they accept it for the truth. Yeah, you're CIA. For, it, definitely it's CIA. The, there's no question the CIA is involved here. And they're trying to get me to get back to work. Whoa, this is heavy. I don't think like people like us be like Herman. Yeah. Like we Herman, we still Herman. Look at you! You're trying to load the car by yourself. Do it like a white man. A white man, this is the way a white operating system is. I'm being zapped by the CIA. I, uh, if God has balls and has testicles, how can I possibly violate this? Are you again? You again? Look, don't fool the world. You come off like a woman. You look like a woman, and, and, and it seems natural that you're a woman. But then you get some Nothing giant pissed off. Medications on one. You pissed off at me? I'm not pissed at you. See, that's what you want me to do. Because the money is irrelevant, my son. You can't take it with you, son. One day, it's about saving our people. The next day, you want a date with another snow bunny. Welcome to Warren Mode. Empty your mind. Be formless. Shape it. Like water. Oh, right now, I just think I need to be a monster and hold girls against their will, chain them up in my basement, and, and don't let them eat and don't let them out unless they need some shoes down the street. But is it good that you said that Hitler didn't kill enough Jews during the war? Stop it. Y'all quit playing. Quit playing. <laughs> I didn't do this stuff. This is not me. I'm fighting for my life. Say it louder. I'm defending my child. child. I'm defending my child. I've abandoned my God! They talk about uh, supremacists and uh, superior genes. Well, let's be real. It's the genes that God loves. Those are the ones that are going to survive, right? So the ones that God wants to party with. I'm telling you, long term, it's the genes that God wants to party with. Those are the superior genes. And we're back. Yeah. Tell me about the Knights Templar, Bill. Well, first and <laughs> foremost, I'm with Ike when he's saying we watched the Albion on Iconic. If you don't have a membership, get one, obviously. It's David Ike's digital platform. I think a lot of his shit's on Band Out Video, too. But that the thing that blows my mind with the whole Albion thing is the – the level at which priest not prehistoric societies, but like older societies fucked with rocks. <laughs> like, dude, they stack two point three in France, two point three miles of stones in a line. Like, there's something to these fucking things, and they look stupid as hell. And a lot of these people say, dude, they say the fucking the mainstream story, that's the lie. The fu- the the real story. That's also a lie. The untold story is the truth, and it's usually hidden in plain sight. Me and you look at a fucking rock. It's a fucking rock. No one thinks shit of it. They're probably holding the true story, dude. That's how reptilians communicate with fucking everything. <laughs> and these dudes are stacking uh, huge rocks. They love fucking rocks. They love, like, I, I, I can't... They're putting up weight. Dude, the shit the druids did yeah. with those huge, like, flat stones on top of other ones, like... It's fucking They're crazy. They're megaliths. Yeah. Yeah. And like, dude, like that's definitely not just some dudes like, yo, we're going to do this so thousands of years from now people think how. It's it's physically impossible. All that shit's physically impossible. It makes no sense. And the the 2.3 mile stone structure was just peasants did it. Peasants don't give a fuck about it. Like, no, peasants aren't trying to like like show everyone that like they were the goats. You're just not buying the narrative. I'm not buying narrative. And I told you that true stories usually lie on. Behind the scenes, also a lie, untold story, and in plain sight. So where did you, so you told me you got into the Templars. Where are we starting? Well. How far back did you go? Uh, well, it, Ike was talking about the, the Holy Roman em- Empire. Yeah. Like the Temple of Salomon, all that shit. They were just, like, I dude, this whole time I thought Knights Templars were just dudes who were crusaders for Christ, love fucking God, everyone loved yeah, them. Yeah, you're watching too many Hollywood flicks, bro. For real, like, dude, I I had no idea that, like, 
these dudes. So you thought like when I was like, oh, I want to go to Europe and go to the Templars tunnels in Prague. Like you thought I was talking about just like some knights, some Braveheart shit, yeah, some Robin Hood shit. Literally had, <laughs> literally had no. I do. I just thought this was like Jesus's top dogs that yeah, were like no, the no, bro. No, but bro. I'm watching this video. There's treasure. There's treasure to be found. Well, dude, they're like it's crazy because it's like I don't know what to believe because I like I said in the beginning, dude. That, it's a reoccurring theme for the whole entire time we'll be talking today. Is I have no clue what's going on, but. These knights are, they were goats, right? Just like the priests were goats, like all, like they rule. Then they get greedy. They, they're all supposed to be poor. All like vow of, of poverty. Vow of poverty, yeah. but have unholy amounts of fucking cake and are building temples fucking everywhere. And then out of nowhere, everyone's like, dude, these guys are supposed to be poor. And they took a vow of chastity. You know what happens when you don't have a wife. You start fucking each other. So then they're just getting smeared all over the place. Like these that's dudes, propaganda. Dude, bro. I swear to you, that's what I'm saying. Like these dudes started getting like real fucked up because everyone's like, "Yo, you guys are butt fucking." Yeah, There's yeah. no way you guys aren't butt fucking. So like, in, I thought that, like I thought this was like a ride out. Like the Crusades happened and like everything kind of chilled out. Knights Templars or whatever. The last dude's getting burned at the stake. Well, Malroy. There's the dude, um, Philip the Beautiful. Who's Philip the Beautiful? Philip the Beautiful has a problem with the Templars, and he's the dude that carries out Friday the 13th. Is that the dude from France? Yeah, Philip the Beautiful. Why did he carry out Friday the 13th? <laughs> he had beef with the Templars. But what was his beef? I think the I think any like king in power like pushes against these secret societies because they're like, this could take me down. Yes, yes, that's you know? what it was, and then... There was a dude, they were so they were so greased up that there was like Are one. You talking about the knights. The knights were so greased up that there was like I one, mean, today I would imagine they'd be Navy SEALs. Some shit like that. On the Freemasons and Jesuits, but we'll get to that. Oh, okay. okay, fucking, okay. <laughs> at one point, they had so much power that like a king was like, dude, I'm really not cool with these guys kind of doing whatever they want. Like, remember in Game of Thrones where the like the the religious sect like got so much power that they made the girl walk through the shame. Yeah. yeah. It's like the Templars again, all this fucking power. And like this one King's like, yo, I'm not really cool with this. The Pope's like, wait, what? That's Philip the beautiful. Did the, the, the Pope <laughs> exiled Philip the beautiful? No, no. Philip the beautiful is the King that had a problem with him. But there's another one before uh, that where this dude had a problem with him. I, and I don't the Pope know. was like, dude, fuck off. You're exiled. Maybe that might be him too. I don't know. It could be, I, it would make sense. But like, so I thought these dudes were, the best. And it turns out they're just fucking satanic psychopaths that are fucking assholes. <laughs> like legit assholes. Like I'm getting beaten down in my belief systems so hard in the past so month. You kinda held it down. Like if you saw the Knights Templar, like Kingdom of Heaven type shit, you'd tip the hat, be like, the goats. Yo. Yo, yo, Christians. Ooh. Yeah, I was I was actually very surprised because the Templars did you know when the assassins were fucking Arabic military men? Um, say it again. Assassins are Arabic mil or how, however you say it, Arabic military. Like it's like a military of the, the word. Arabs. You're saying the word assassin. I think so. Okay. And the Templars started teaming up with them and some other Islamic people, and they showed them how to really get down. So like Islam taught the the Knights Templar how to hold it down, and that's how they got like all crazy and blown up. But allegedly, these dudes really blew up when they went to the fucking. Uh, King Salmon's temple mm -hmm. and they were digging and they fucking supposedly found something. I have no idea what it was, but after that it was like, boom, absolutely. They were gross, paid crushing everyone doing whatever they want. Now, have you ever seen the interviews with the modern day? And I don't know if they're Templars or Freemasons, but the there's guys that claim now that they have, there's multiple arcs of the covenant that they're watching. This dude says Makes that sense. there's 14 arcs of the government covenant or something like that <laughs> yeah and they have located like a bunch of them and they have like that rods of Aaron, like they have the things to hold it yeah yeah like it, i think that's templar shit is what i'm saying i'm dude, not sure though it's weird because these dudes like completely just like this dude malroy gets burned at the stake by your boy beautiful and they just completely went underground disappeared he he took the secret to the grave well he this is the other crazy they thing. they wanted to know where the gold was so he, he's getting burned at the stake in France. And he asked them, like, they're like, dude, fucking, like, say we're better. Like, 
stop with this God shit. And he's yeah. like, dude, you know what? Fuck that. Burn me at the stake and let me look at Notre Dame. I want to watch it. But th- that's like some ultimate holy shit. This is where everything gets fucking inversed. And you get to the fucking pictures of Baphomet that just are weird as shit. But on Notre Dame, there's a big ass statue of Baphomet where he would have been looking while getting burnt at the stake. Okay. So these dudes, and it goes through so many fucking loops that like I have a headache. But these dudes supposedly all worshipped Baphomet. And like they were huge, like it was more of a satanic cult than it was like they didn't believe Jesus. They thought all that was bullshit. Hey, man. Dude. I've been looking into stuff. That's what, like, it's <laughs> it's tough. Because I'm watching this, and these, like, these dudes supposedly love Baphomet. Whatever. He's some fucking... Supposedly, he's not even the dude that you sacrifice humans to. Like, I'm getting to the level of, like, <laughs> Lucifer is good. And it's not feeling too hot. Like, I'm at that point where it's like, oh, Lucifer's actually oh, good. he's just a light bringer. Oh, yeah. it's so, Promethean. Yeah, it, it is extremely fucked up. Let me look at a few things I have. <laughs> They're very, very short notes on this. There was a dude. I have to show you this. I, I can't think without fucking showing you this. Okay. There was a dude, St. Bernard Clairvaux or something like that. If you look him up, it's C-L-A-I-R-V-A-U-X. Okay. This dude was supposedly like a, one of the night I, I was like kind of in and out of it. I had a space heater on me. I was very tired, but he supposedly fell in love with the Virgin Mary, like absolutely obsessed with the Virgin Mary, which I'll, Oh, is he the guy with the titties? Bro. I know about this. The you know this milk. picture? Yeah. Yeah. The breast milk. Yeah. What the fuck is this? This is up there with fucking the foreskin. That's what I'm saying. Like yeah. the fact that this dude has both his hands out getting titty <laughs> from the Virgin Mary. Is- He's getting that. Fr- it's the four milk. That's fucking insane. Yeah. But yeah, the, these dudes. So I was watching this video and it's like. That's the good stuff. Supposedly they're obsessed with bath mat. But in reality, they're obsessed with sweet Sophia. And ah. Sophia is Mary. Now I got real fucking weird out because then they started saying like the Knights Templar are worshipers of the divine feminine. Yeah. And they want to ruin everything that's masculine. And then I'm fucking just done a Chipotle burrito and I'm sitting there like, wait, that's happening. So they're destroying all, all right now Oh, with the seed oils, not a, <laughs> yeah. right now. Everything is like, they're destroying all things manly. The Tate brothers are just got arrested for human trafficking. Did they Tristan and Andrew Tate just got arrested for human trafficking. Holy shit, bro. Dude. What did you think was going to happen? This is a big day. A lot of Pele died. Fucking, you said Ted might be on on the chopping block. Supposedly, that's that's through the grapevine. I can't be confirmed, but uh, yeah, like the yeah. So real quick, the Tate brothers did get fucking arrested. Thing is, he said this was going to happen, and I'm not a Tate simp, dude. He says a lot of stuff that makes sense. Much like Kanye West and Jones, I'm on the same page. Yeah, I don't agree with every. The truth has a vibration. I would agree with. 95% of the things Andrew Tate says, it's just logical. I did watch a three-hour podcast last night with him debating three women on it. That has nothing to do with this. But he fucking, he fucked with Greta Thunberg. He, like, poked like at her. Like, in person? No, no, uh, on a tweet. He poked at her, and Greta Thunberg, She. do you remember when Greta Thunberg tweeted out something that was in a not-filled-in tweet that she was supposed to tweet out that Susan sent her? Yes. So supposedly, I mean, she must have right. The chick's 18 years old. Let me try to find the, here it is. So Andrew Tate sucks. Yesterday said, hello, Greta Thunberg. I have 33 cars. My Bugatti has a W16 eight liter quad turbo. My two Ferraris have eight, 12 compact zones have 6.5 liters in V12s. That's just the start. Please provide your email address so I can send a complete list of my car collection and the respective enormous emissions. Hilarious troll. Go to Thunberg. Yes, please do enlighten me. Email me at smalldickenergy at getalife.com. What a slam. But, dude. What a slam, dude. That's her email. Yeah. She's small dick energy. Okay, I get Not it. It's a, jo- it's a joke. Yeah. yeah. I get it. So this is what's going on now. Like, he was talking about this, that, like, if he doesn't shut the fuck up, they're going to get him or something. And they might just get him on human trafficking, which will be fucked up if that happens. Feel fucking super bad for him. But, anyway, back to the Ninth Templar. Yeah, those like so I watch this whole thing on Baphomet, the owl, all that worship, 
And suppose, like, when I was telling you, you have the general story, that's a lie. The real story, that's a lie. And the untold story, they love, it's not Bathmet, it is the Virgin Mary. And dude, their words, not mine, whore of Babylon. I've never said that. I never will. I wear a miraculous medal. Oh, you didn't know. I didn't know any of this shit. Oh, so yeah, yeah. The, supposedly these dudes are just. Well, like evangelicals, like real Christians hate Catholics for any, just for the liking of Mary at all. Because they hate the whore of Babylon. Are you serious? Yeah. So she had sex with the beast. I don't know what the deals. I don't know what the details are here, man. Yeah, well, th- yeah. they were also getting into like. Remember how you were telling about the grim fairy tales? Yeah, that's a lot about Beauty and the Beast. If you look at the Beast, he looks like Baphomet, and supposedly she symbolizes the horror of Babylon who fucks the Beast, and they try and normalize that shit. Okay, but th- those so they're bad still. You're saying the Templars are bad. These dudes supposedly have always been bad. And mind you, this is off one video I watch, which I will now parrot every talking point I heard for the next two months. And then after that, I will move on. Did you get into how they might be the Freemasons? Dude. I'm just trying to move it along here, Bill. No, literally. (laughs) It's like... I have no idea where you're going. I don't know what's in your dome. That's it. I'm trying to hack your dome. Dude, we're the same person. (laughs) They, like, so they go underground forever. They come back up and they start doing this Freemason shit. Have you ever seen one of the ceremonies of Freemasonry? Um, I know that it's like a death ritual. Oh, one. Of, yeah, you're talking about like the initiation or whatever. But I'm saying like when they all just get together. Oh, I don't know. I thought that was all secret. Oh, no, dude, it's videotaped. Oh, really? It's the corniest shit ever. Like George Washington and Ben Franklin come on stage and start talking and they're like, we have astronauts. And Ben Frank's like, what's an astronaut? Like, it's real jerked off shit. But they do it on a huge checkerboard floor. Yeah. And there's huge red velvet seats all around them. So supposedly these dudes just went underground, chilled out for a long ass time. And then they pop back up as Freemasons. And now they're pretty much just running all the shit. I, the video said it was going to get into how they're Jesuits, but they never did. Okay. They just kind of said that Jesuits are like their special operation guys. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I haven't looked into this shit or anything, but like, I feel like in my head, the Templars had to go underground after the Philip the Beautiful guy did the Friday the Thirteenth. Yeah, and then Malroy. Then they chill, but then when they pop back up in like Northern Europe, they start building cathedrals out of nowhere. These architects roll up. Yes, and these are like the elite Templars, and then they're with the Goths and all that stuff. Yeah, and then they start doing um. They kind of turned the Freemasons into like a secret society. Yeah. So like, dude, the supposedly those Templar guys were fucking horses. Remember when uh, Notre Dame burnt down? Yeah. Supposedly they saw a Templar that was up there. I don't know if that's true or not, but to your point with the uh, building the cathedrals, supposedly all that shit was just to worship um, Sophia. All it, for it's the Gnosticism. Bus- all for the blessing. Yeah. Oh, dude, I have. <laughs> give me one second. I think I have it. This is too much. Notes. Hold on one second. I have it in my screen. Yeah, I'll I'll try to go off off memory, but just keep spitting, dude. Yeah, when I when they were talking about the Templars and the Gnostics, like supposedly, and like, dude, this whole thing, like, they'll tell you what a definition is and be like, but that's actually wrong. So like, this is why I'm all like fucking. Oh, so you watch like a schizo video? It was five documentaries condensed into one. Mm. It was it was shit I used to like because like that it was like what it was like almost a YouTube playlist before there was YouTube playlist and you just rip through it and it's on for two hours and it's great, but supposedly these dudes wanted to, like they they didn't give a fuck about dying or any any of that shit they knew it was gonna happen over and over and then they did it until they could become Christ and then defeat death and then they're just fucking all like all powerful like absolute goat so. The shit the Freemasons do and all the... They're obsessed with rituals. So I never saw that that coronation video of the Queen is weird as fuck, bro. Well, I mean, Ike brings up a good point that the these these rituals might not be for this dimension. For real, dude. You know? Because they make absolutely no sense. And their pillar... They have their two pillars. What, the thing they sit on? No, they... Like, on next to the chair, they have, like... Oh, yeah. Two pillars, and that's a big 9-11 one. What do you mean? That's the conspiracy theory on 9-11 was it's a Masonic ritual. Oh, yeah, definitely. They took down the towers. Yeah, these dudes It's are... like Boaz and something else. They have names for their towers. Oh, yeah, I yeah. do. 
that's like there's so many documentaries where I've gotten <laughs> to this point. Like they went through the whole like serpent yeah, yeah. head and the cathedrals and all this stuff. It, like Did you all- talk about the Vatican. Um, never mind. Did you look at under what's underneath the Vatican? No. Okay, never mind. What's underneath the Vatican? That's another thing. What? Another Templar thing. What is it? There's like rooms. Not the catacombs. They're kind of like catacombs. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You can check them out. It's on the website. Actually? Yeah. You can check it out. Yeah, dude. I'm not like... I'm not, I didn't know how far... You just said we're going to talk about Templar, so I got a little excited. Yeah. yeah. Uh, whatever... Sorry. I'll stop. No, no, no. This is fine. Let's talk about BlackRock, Ukraine. <laughs> I have that on notes, too. doesn't even matter. We'll get to that. Uh, but supposedly, this is... Now it's coming back to me. Pope Francis... That cock-sucking piece of shit. I hate that dude with all my fucking heart. Supposedly, he is a Templar. Mm. So, he is the Black Pope. But he is also the Black Pope and the White Pope at the same damn time, completely destroying the Vatican from within. Now, is that why they call him the Grey Pope? I have no idea. But suppose, like, there's weird shit with, like, him like remember when we were talking about him tied in with like the world economic forum and shit oh yeah dude and he's super tied in with like the eu and all that stuff and like you'd be shocked how political the catholic church is i mean dude yeah. <laughs> it's like it is weird how a lot of like biden all the like nancy pelosi everyone grovels to that dude and it's not out of some like weird maybe i'll get to heaven shit like those dudes oh, no. have power i was saying like you'd be surprised how political like a priest life is when they go on that journey to become like a pope or an, or an archbishop or a cardinal, it's ancient Greece, dude. They act like not that, the place. Like they, they act like they get like picked by God and stuff. You know, like it's a calling, mm-hmm. and they do all kinds of crazy shit to get to the top. I mean, dude, I. For, it seems like it's very catty, like all that. Like supposedly now that he's in, it's just going to be nonstop um, Templars until this whole thing burns to the fucking ground. So they're going to f- fulfill their ritual. They're going to take back the mount? I think so. Okay. But I I don't trust these dudes. I wipe my hands clean of the Catholic Church. They, it seems like they got infiltrated. It may have started as something cool. Like, all this stuff sounds like it started with something cool. But, like, dude, it just gets fucked up. And you got to kind of have to walk away. And it makes sense that, like, this shit always happens. Like, these Templars come around. They're probably sick as fuck. They were getting people to the Holy Land to go visit and come back. And that was probably real cool. There's a few of them that get a few shekels for it. It's like, yeah, this is sweet. And then it just, they get more and more powerful. For some reason, it always leads to them banging dudes or fucking kids. Yeah, they started like the... Ultimate corruption. The wreck it route, the relic like racket where they were like saying like, oh, we found this, we found this. They would find treasure and then they like hype it up. Yeah. Like, oh, this is the wood from Jesus' cross. That's Templar shit, dude. Is that still around? Probably. Yeah, that's... Yeah, oh. all that shit. Yeah. So I'm watching this, and I'm like... I'm we're, I'm always running conversations we had back through our head because I talk to myself in my head, much like you. And I start to... Like, they start to talk about the World Wide Web. And you were talking last week about how the internet is a battlefield. Yeah. But when... And <laughs> I think it's in the Hebrew alphabet. Could be anything. I think it's in the Hebrew alphabet. WWW is like va va va, which is the sixth letter of the alphabet, which is six six six. No, no. So when you <laughs> sign on to that, you're typing WWW. You are entering Satan's web, and it makes a lot of sense if you're on his little playground on there all day long, typing all that shit in, going crazy. Every single one's a ritual. It's six 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 before everything on the internet. This is just crazy talk, dude. And this is just the video I watch. But I watch that. I was like, these dudes definitely like. There's something going on with the web. These Templars are mighty powerful. Freemasons run almost fucking everything. They have dudes fucking everywhere. They're OG powerhouses. Well, allegedly they're an OG powerhouse. They did have treasure. They hid in Scotland. They came over and they founded America through the Freemasons. That's yes. the line of the Templars, allegedly, in my mind. From the-, the Templars, they turn into the Masons. Then they come and get America. And if you look at the layout of Washington D.C., and you look at the ley lines, and you look at the they have the, like the the in the roads, it makes the star. Does it really? It makes the Freemason triangle. Yeah. And it makes the pentagram. 
Yeah, dude. And and they have all their Lady Liberty. If you go in the Capitol, the Freemasons built the Capitol. And if you look up at the ceiling, George Washington is there sitting with the Mason symbol. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah. And the, these dudes just built America. They built America. It kind of seems like. There's an obelisk in Washington, D.C. Why? Yeah, I think I remember watching something about that. I yeah. was real tripped out by the Statue why, of why, Liberty. Why did they do all that? Yeah. I mean, it sucks that they don't do it anymore because everything's built like shit and like nothing's that cool. Like, something's like there's something to be said about building these massive structures or serving some fucking power. I don't know. But if these dudes have secrets to like the Ark of the Covenant and shit, it makes sense why they would go around, and do all this evil stuff, and like try to do shit that's allegedly in our favor or just in their favor and be absolute energy vampires. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if those guys are bad or good. Yeah, that's like that's where I got to the end that's of it. I, I was like, dude, I just know they exist. You never know, yeah. Yeah, I, there's there's no black hats, there's no white hats. <laughs> it's all gray areas. I get done these things. There's way too much back and forth, but like I'll pick up a little bit of it, and then I'll be I'll at least know about the Knights Templar because I knew fuck all about it before. There's probably way more, dude. I mean, there's definitely a bunch yeah. more, but like, dude, it's like way more to learn. You have to go a bit shoot, which takes four hours to fucking load a video. You look that up on on uh, YouTube, and it's literally CNN. How the fuck am I supposed to reckon? What the fuck CNN? Well, what do you doing? reckon? Yeah, <laughs> they're they're Are bringing nothing to the fucking table. Wit. Yeah, if you uh, History Channel does a ton of shit. But the History Channel lies about the Knight Templars. That's, that's the, the official story. That's, that's the, the lie. official story. That's the ultimate yeah, lie. Okay. I'm trying to figure <laughs> out. Like, we gotta talk to Michael Wan, and we gotta go and see those ley lines, and talk to him about the Order of the Rosy Cross and stuff like that. Because this dude fucking knows. Well, I mean, he claims that the King James Bible was written by Francis Bacon, which is supposedly Shakespeare. Yeah, I I believe that. Yeah, I believe all this stuff. But changing gears. <laughs> Shift it up a bit. A few nuggets for you. Did you know this? Anthony Fauci's wife is the head of bioethics at the NIH. Did you know that? No. I didn't know he's married. I honestly thought he was an incel. Not only is he married, <laughs> he has a fucking daughter. Howdy. And his daughter, Allison, is, she works at Twitter, or worked at Twitter for some point. So th th these dudes are fucked. Do you see Bill Gates on the news like talking about? I haven't like, seen shit. Yeah. Oh, dude, he's on the news talking about like standing up for the adverse reaction. Just like, yeah, I mean, it just is what it is. Like, we'll be fine. Meanwhile, Bob Marley's grandson just died at 31. All right, pay. Did you see that? Yeah. Yeah, it's fucking sad as shit. Like these people are dropping like fucking flies, which the like there's dudes in London now like doing studies like normal ass doctors who are doing these studies and like, yeah, this is fucked. Like, they're, we're about to have to start doing shit about these injections. And then you take a fucking trip over to Clown World, which makes no sense, dude. And I read this shit. I, I thought it had to be a fucking lie to me, but I looked into it. What am I looking at here? This looks like a 4chan find. It's true. <laughs> it is. So, like, there's... I don't think that, like, if you want to be a chick and you're a dude, go the fuck ahead. Like, do that shit at home. Like, cross-dressers, old dudes that were cross-dressers, they used to do that shit on their own time. But like, they didn't videotape themselves and put it up so, like, everyone at their work could see. So dudes are now, like, giving themselves shit to give themselves periods if they're girls. I'm looking. Yeah, I'm putting this together now. Okay. But that isn't enough. So now the dudes are getting V8 popsicles and shoving them in their either assholes or new pussies. They're trying to simulate bloating. Drink a lot of water. All right, wow. This is fucking. I mean, crazy. dude, I I talked to uh, I talked to one of my buddy's wives, and she was trying to explain a period PMS. Yeah, you're not you're not faking that funk, dude. It's a crazy. It's a psyop. It's like a bad trip. It's like a bad acid trip for like fucking three days. Really? Suppose oh, yeah. I heard it fucking kills. It's probably hell, dude. I mean, it's it like it's a bad time. But dude, it's like should they be in charge of anything? Probably not. For real, no, because it's like. <laughs> It's about to happen. I'm not even allowed to have like a fucking bummed out day. I get a ton of shit for that. Like, dude, and imagine like, if you were pouring coffee in Wawa yeah. and you started crying and someone's like, oh, fuck. Like, it's like he's about to shoot this place up. Oh, the yeah, girl dude. does it. It's like, oh, yeah, it's yeah. that time of the month, honey. You, it's like, get this guy to a fucking insane asylum. <laughs> he's going to kill people. That's I was having that argument the other day. Yeah. Like, 
chicks sit there and complain about how hard having your period is. And I get that. It probably smarts for a fucking week. But when you cry wolf about a ton of other shit that sucks, yeah. a lot of the time, you're not going to believe this one. I'm the type of guy that doesn't think that having a kid probably hurts that bad. <laughs> That's just me. You passed some big objects in your life. Don't do that. <laughs> don't. <laughs> don't make any inferences about that. But, like, I've talked to a chicken. I was like, it sucks that you bleed out your pussy. Yeah. I 100% get that. I think it's like a mood swing thing, and it's headaches and bloating, and they hate everyone. And they want to kill people. Yes. So, I mean, I'm just saying, like, if you were a dude and you gave those symptoms to a psychologist once a month, I think HR might get a note and be like, yo, this guy can't be the president. Absolutely, dude. Yeah. If yeah. this dude's hormones are out of whack. But if the Templars have their way, everything is going feminine. Yeah, and we're pretty much just servants to them, so I'm just going to get it off my chest while I can before I, me and you get charged for human trafficking like the Tate brothers. <laughs> but, like, dude, they have a whole, they have a week where they're fucked. Yeah, they're or fucked. pre-week, dude. and then you bleed out your fucking pussy. Not the end of the world. And then you have an excuse for an entire month up until it happens again, and it's a never-ending cycle where it's your excuse for being a psycho. They're all psychotic, dude. And then these dudes are trying to fucking do it to themselves, which just blows my fucking mind. This is kind of funny. I mean, the thing I don't like, I saw that and I saw the dudes talking about it. And it's like, dude, the night that goes down where you're just alone in your bed and you shove a fucking V8 popsicle up your asshole and let it slowly melt out your ass. That's rock bottom. (laughs) Yeah, that's time. It's time to go into the institution. Like that's, what that's how you get institutionalized. This you start cr- cramming this shit up your ass, dude. It's time to go to the house. But dude, they're not going to the house. This is being no, champion. I know. I know. I hear you. I hear and you, they're dude. Teaching our kids. This is the clown them. world, dude. Yeah. I know you hate the woke mob. I really do. I mean, sometimes sometimes it gets me where I watch <laughs> it. Like this is why I know I'm gonna. Now get- that you know that the Templars are behind it, maybe maybe it changes things for you. This is sinister, dude. This is middle eight, middle ages shit. It's weird. It's that going th- back to Jerusalem, bro. It's weird that they always try to do that. Like, it's weird that they're trying. Like, when I see this stuff after the watching the news for all of COVID, everything, I'm so against anything that they're pushing mainstream. I'm not even trying to be a tough guy. That like, if they're trying to get rid of masculinity, we have to go as mask as possible. There's no like they they do not want us to be dudes. We just have to dude it the fuck up. For some odd reason. I don't know what the fuck's going on, but they're really against this shit. I don't know. They want, yeah. us, to, they want us to have fucking manginas, bro. What's next? Oh, yeah. This, I don't want to look at a fucking frozen V8 popsicle, dude. This is the shit that I saw that it kind of reminds me of what you were talking about. Remember you thought there was going to be like a real HD nuclear bomb thing? Yeah. So, you know, they really want to ramp it up. Now, allegedly, Russia shot 16 missiles at Kiev. Probably 100% didn't happen, but they got this real sick picture. Um, it's all for the photo ops, yeah. It, they're literally just doing shit for photo ops. It's not true at all. Yeah. It's fucking insane. I mean, it's a proxy war, so. Yeah. The yeah. war itself is, like, not even for the Ukraine. And then they try to show bombing victims, and it turns out that it's just from a 2013 No, don't do that. Vote. What do you mean? They got caught that fast? It was 39,000 likes. And, and it got so, nipped right in the bud. Dude, it's called reverse image shirts. It's not that hard. If yeah. you're putting this shit up on the internet, like this chick put it up, like this is why I can't believe anything. That's what I'm saying. I mean, that was quick. Like if there's a city that got bombed and everyone has cell phones, you wouldn't have to go to an Amazon book of a kid that's dirtied up. Hmm. This shit's fucking insane. And then another thing, which is it sucks for me because obviously you're not a Crocs guy. I kind of always figured this. Like, Crocs is sponsoring a fucking drag drag queen show or whatever for kids. Yeah. Obviously, it's the official footwear of perverts, but they were comfortable fucking shoes. And now this happened. I have to fucking hang them up. I have to get new fucking... Just you some, thought you were styling. No, I mean, they, they make sense, kind of. They kind of get real shitty when you're, like, walking on the beach and shit, and sand gets in the Crocs, and you get all wet, your feet fucking hurt, but it just blows. Because now they're all now they're down with this shit, so I I just have to hang the fuck up or put black tape over the Crocs logo. Yeah, listen to a pretty cool like um podcast where some dude was talking about how all this woke shit is literally like a it's a make work problem or something. It was like some random video on my YouTube, and the guy said like it's just like a runaway job creation thing for like the upper middle class that doesn't have anything to do. 
And in other countries, they know what to do with these people because they've been neats forever. Like in Europe, it's like we know what to do with like useless. So this is just graduates. the neats idle mind going fucking wild. Well, they need to make a job for themselves. So it's like it's like part of like it's something Old to money. do with it's something to do with like since the real since the real like guys that run the the like the guy that builds a company up, then he sells out, hands it over to a board, and then they got this woke shit will step in and then they'll sub out the HR to like an NGO. Really? And that'll be like, the, the new thing will be like, they have a whole team of people ramping up this stuff to make themselves have, be, be important and have a job. That's it. They don't care about any of this shit. This is literally just them. This is like a business and they look at it like a business. They're like, okay, who fucked up? Like the guy brought up a, um, one of the examples was Blizzard Activision. So whenever they merged or whatever, yeah, the bros were in there. They said it was a real frat house atmosphere. Did the, you hear about the that bros shit? were watching titties. They were watching titty milk. They were watching girls breastfeed that worked there. Chill the fuck out. And so that was a problem. That's an HR problem, right? <sighs> but instead of like firing the dudes that were involved or whatever, they turned it into this whole big thing where it's like, well, we need to get people in at the top, and then they kind of like sub it out to like. Like yeah, something that's some like an NGO, daughter. like a woke <laughs> NGO or whatever. But this is like a whole business. So that's why all this corporate shit, that's why you see all this stuff. Like sensitivity training and shit. All of this stuff is just college graduates with nowhere to go, with bullshit degrees. And then they get jobs because they would have gotten jobs anyway. They just, this is what they picked because it's the easiest shit to graduate with. Dude, that is. It's dude. like upper middle class losers that are doing it. It's called make work. That's, I mean, they could be doing anything though. Ikea has them doing um, communications. So, like, since Ikea is in so many countries. Yeah. That you just have to, like, you're a communicator. And they know what to do with these freaks. They're just like, yeah, you communicate when there's a problem. Oh, so. But like, here yeah. in America, it's like they're very powerful. These are, like, very powerful, like, connected kids. Yeah, didn't you say the kids at Penn are, like, fucking, they'll motherfuck a teacher if they get an A or if they get a B? Yeah, but, I mean, I just imagine that they're shooting for one of these jobs, though. So it's a whole industry. And they're probably assy as fuck. Yeah, it's a whole industry like separate from the companies. And the companies are kind of pressured into hiring these things because of like the Activision thing. Yeah. Did you hear what Activision's coming out with? No. So like they like you know about like the whole like the AI shit. Like AI is getting like real good. Yeah, yeah. Like chatbot AI. They're, they're getting that to now listen to everyone's shit. So they're gonna be able to tell exactly when you're kind of fucking around or you're trolling, so you can get banned immediately. They're gonna, um, they're definitely gonna take a lot of bullshit jobs. That AI. Oh yeah, dude. Like just re- re- really weird, like writing jobs. Like it's gonna ice a lot of people. Yeah, I'm super pumped for the AI to roll out on Activision. Because the lingo that is going to come from this is going to be the best ever. Like the secret language that you're going to have to have a fucking different language to fuck around with AI. It's like pig Latin. (laughs) This will be fucking hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. They said they're going to like be able to like, even if you're saying like, oh, dude, great job. Like they'll be able to figure out if that's like if you're fucking around or you're like being actually serious. I doubt it. I mean, why would they want to do this to people? That's what I don't get. I don't know, dude. Ever since um, the Floyd riots, when Activision came out with all that like BLM shit, yeah, it's also like I think um, who's the other company you're talking about? Frost or whatever, Blizzard. They're one now. Yeah, th- Soros yeah. is a part of that. Okay. So whatever the fuck they got going on, I know the one dude was on Epstein's island. Which dude? One of the, the dude from Blizzard or Activision. I can't remember. Makes fuck. He's probably yeah. a part of that Edge thing too. Yeah, probably. Yeah, for whatever reason, like, dude, gaming was the safe haven for, like, all walks of life. They just absolutely chill, have fun, talk shit. Soros buys up half Activision or whatever, and then, dude, it it is fucked up now. Like, you can't fuck around on it. There's nonstop chicks in World War II video games. It makes zero fucking sense. Like, they, and it's, like, not even, like, catered to the consumer because there's so little girl gamers. Like, it makes no sense that they did this. Yeah, I mean, that's what I was trying to say. Like, they, this is just an industry that's a side industry that's happening, and you're way downstream in, like, the whole, like, the dollar that's spent for this. You're yeah. so far away from it that, like, you just don't get it. You just see this shit and being like, what is this woke bullshit? Yeah, Who's pushing it. this stuff? This is an agenda, and, like, in reality, 
it's probably a, like a way for these like upper middle class weirdos to create themselves a small industry. And they can pressure people through this, like, so there is, like, an ideology or whatever, but the reason that it's, like, runaway here and, like, fucking Crocs, <clears throat> which I thought was for old men, so did I. now for drag queens. Well, they're you sponsoring know. it. Well, and a lot still, of older man. men are drag queens. I don't know what to tell you. I'm just trying to explain the thing that I listen to. Yeah, that's fuck- it, it is fucking nuts that. This is all just coming from neats and people that just like kind of. It need might a job, be. I mean, this is super powerful. This dude was from Sweden. He was just laughing about it. He was just like, "Dude, the Americans are out of control with this shit." We need to find something for them to do. Well, that's what I'm, that's what he's saying is they know what they know what to do with these fuckers in their country. Yeah, I mean, they're just. But here, around. it's like we have a ton of them, and they're powerful. They're from like powerful families. Yeah, the, this stuff. It's it's definitely whatever's going on isn't good, because like. I don't understand what the obsession is all of a sudden. Like, cause there was never drag queen shit. Like that was just on Bravo, bro. And now it's everywhere. Like these lunches and everything. Like it was at one place in the city. Yep. I don't know why someone's pushing this shit so hard. It's not that sweet. Nah. Yeah. It is bizarre. I don't enjoy it whatsoever, but dude, do you remember the dude Fink from Blackrock? You were talking about earlier who like, did he have something to do with Dazak or something? I remember talking about Fink a while ago to you. Yeah, I don't know. But the dude got, he got tapped on the shoulder and now he is in control of the rebuild of Kiev. Yeah, this is some of the funniest shit to me because this is happening at like real super rapid pace. What do you mean? Like the, whatever you want to call this, the wag the dog show we're watching with oh, this yeah. fucking proxy war. It's Disaster like, it's capitalism and shit. It's going at like a rapid pace and it's in your face. Yeah. Like that dude just came to America, talked in front of Congress dude, he or whatever. Complained. Got an attaboid, got fucking hugs and kisses and everything. And then it's you like. You see his kiss with Nancy Pelosi. Yeah, and then it's <laughs> like, yo, here you go. Here's your check. I mean, it's all like right in your face. Yeah. I just want to know like who actually still believes. Like that, that they're like, how can, how can you believe the propaganda if this is what's going on? That's what I'm saying. Like this yeah. literally, like this looks like if you How can you sit there and, and believe like the whole, there's, this is like Putin's Hitler. This is a soap opera. You know what I mean? Like, there's an imperial war, all this other shit. It's like, yo, bro, this is a money grab. Dude, the that, reason they both sides stand up and clap for that little dude is because he's co- they're coining it off of him. I don't I don't understand what's good. And there's videos of him meeting with Trump. The motherfucker yeah. wore a suit. I don't know if it's, what's the guy's name from Balenciaga that kind of oh, yeah. always shouts out? I don't know if it's that dude making him wear the sweatsuit. Yeah, like, I don't know why this dude has to wear a sweatsuit. It's ever. a Hollywood production. It, it literally is, but it's yeah. like, it's right in that same playbook as like the, uh, is that Naomi Campbell with the disaster capitalism or whatever? Or is that someone else? Naomi Klein. Naomi Klein, yeah. Like, they just ruined all that shit, and then the dude from Black Rocks, the Fink, dude. Yeah. Someone hates him, and I can't remember who it is. Like, there's another dude who hates this Fink guy. I kind of know what you're saying. It yeah. might be Adam Curry. I don't know. Yeah. But, yeah, this dude, he's now in charge of rebuilding all of Kiev with all the cake. And he's got him in the World Economic Forum, so Ukraine is now at Davos. And then he, the dude Fink is the like the the main guy for all the ESG stuff. It's so, like the Ukraine is going to be like the new smart city once this shit's all done. If this dude is in charge of the ESG and stuff, I showed you the article where they said it's the new Israel. Really? <laughs> and, and I would say, you know, when the heat gets turned up down there, they might need somewhere to move. True. I never thought of that. Well, it's pretty crazy if you watch that um, Wag the Dog movie because they tap a they tap a Hollywood producer and they're like, "Yo, dude, can you make a war?" And like he makes a war. It's like fucking movie with Dustin Hoffman and Robert De Niro. I'm, but I'm telling you, like this is what you're watching. This is what you're watching. It's happening super fast. Yeah, we're talking about shit that's been going on for like 20 years. This is like the ancient fucking boomers putting together their last little slam dunk. That's they're it. all gonna get out. And it sucks that people were fucking dying over this and all this. But Literally, at the end of the day, it's like fucking, that's why the dude's not wearing a suit. He's the president of a country, and he's wearing fucking Demna jumpers. Sweats, yeah. It is crazy. It's it's literally like if like you like you go in and you paint a fucking school, and like that regime's almost out of there, and you're like, dude, we painted this whole place three years yes. ago. And everyone's like, dude, don't worry about it. It's fucking How many times has, has that happened? Yeah, that, this is it's like, like right before the regime change, everybody gets paid, everybody cashes in. 
This is what yeah. I was I was saying to someone like you're retarded. I was like, dude, like this is obviously well, I'm just laundering feel, money. I do feel bad for like real educated people that just don't experience the real world. Because if you don't ever see like political grease in action, you can't put this shit together. Yeah, you'll sit there and like you know, especially if you don't have an inner monologue, you're watching the news, going, okay, this is what's going on. <laughs> but yeah. if you're sitting there and you you saw some kickbacks and you saw some grease. Like, I grew up watching this shit, so it's like, all I'm looking at is, like, both sides of those aisles clapping for McConnell him. is, like, saying we have to pass this bill for <laughs> Yeah, spend. and I mean, it's like, dude, the more money they spend, the more, mo- the more like, things they approve, the more money they get. Like, did you see that Ron Paul thing where he was, like, going through, like, the budget, the omnibus bill? No. <laughs> $118,000 to see if Thanos actually could snap his fingers. Oh, um, man. 180 grand to see, 180 grand to see if dogs... Marvel Thanos? Yeah. 180 grand to see if dogs help kids cope with things. Yeah. Yeah. Pay me. Like all this shit, dude. <laughs> and he's going through and he goes, we, we only had a week to look at this. We can't go through all these. But those were like, he hit he hit like three like main ones that were insane. But like to, to see if Thanos could actually snap his fingers. Guys, they have to be fucking around. Yeah, they're trolling you, dude. They're trolling you. They just carted it out a fucking manlet and a jumper. And dude, his height has nothing to do with this. You know what I mean. I get what you're saying. <laughs> you're doing it for the visual thing, yes. <laughs> dude, I did that like there's Ron Paul actually fucking read that if Thanos can snap his finger. I'll show it to you. That's fucking retarded. Yeah. And that's so much money. I was just talking to a man today who's irked about paying taxes. And I was like, Yeah, dude, there's a good chance some of that money is gonna be going to the fucking boy in the jumpsuit. Oh yeah, big time. For no fucking reason. For so these dudes can literally <clears throat> just get cashed out. They all have companies over there. I want to figure out what the fuck Mitch McConnell's doing over there. I need to find that dude's fucking company <laughs> that's over in the Ukraine. Yeah, they're all they're all part of this. Yeah, that, hopefully. I mean, hopefully at some point, like all this shit kind of chills out because this is literally like hyperdrive watching this shit happen. This was like when did the Ukraine shit start? What was this year? In, like, February, maybe? Yeah, it was literally this year. Yeah. This is, like, a fucking 10-year thing that they just condensed down into one year. I'm telling you, dude. It's a long-ass time. a long-ass time. Yeah, that, that was fucking insane. And did they pass that bill? I don't know. I, I mean, literally, it doesn't matter. Money's fake. I'm fucked anyway, so <laughs> it's not going to change my life, but... Yeah, hit pause. I'll show yeah. you something. Pull up that wrong policy. Dude, that's fucking crazy. To the bicameral mind book, did, did they like kind of put a time frame on like when it started popping up for dudes to think? Yeah, they they talk about it. It's like somewhere in between like a thousand and like six hundred or something. Because like when you were just saying earlier, the the dudes like they would kill the guys with the voices I mean, in their heads. No, nah, they were killing the dudes that thought that that was God. Yeah. So they this, would kill children. This is making me think about the American eunuch thing. Like, there's a good chance that, like, you are saying they kept them around as oracles. Yeah. There's a good chance that are like, dude, you can't make another one of you, so we're going to cut your nuts off. And you are, like, they would probably be revered. I told you this last week. Oh, you did? Okay, then yeah. you put that thought in my head. Same person. Yeah, like, the god Artemis had all of the oracles, the priests to him were eunuchs. Or to her were eunuchs. That makes complete sense. Yeah. I was going around all last week, like, I wonder why these dudes fucking love them so much. I just didn't know they were going, like, slaughterhouse on these fucking guys and killing them. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Like, there was a time before demons. There was a time before city walls because you didn't have the thought. that You didn't have the forethought that someone would attack you because you didn't have the... Con- you weren't conscious enough of someone else's intentions. You, like, you would literally walk off a cliff. It's, like, what, the reason why, like, chimps don't have fortifications. And then, like, the, the, the pinnacle of this is the fact that we got to castles. If you fuck around with castles, dude, it's insane. The biggest. Like if rocks. you if you check out like um <laughs> warfare and fortresses and castles, building fortifications up on a hill, like getting the high ground. Yeah. Building like That's cr- not that pet. long of a time though. This is what's like tripping me up. That's what I was trying to tell you, dude. This is like yesterday in our world. Subjective consciousness, there's a chance it was yesterday. And that that's why all this shit starts popping up. There was a time before demons. Demons are like a made up thing yeah. because we figured out bad thoughts. Yes. <laughs> True. So they didn't know how to name them, so they made up demons. Dude, that is fucking bizarre. All of it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's a, you should get into the book. It's cool. I'm, yeah, I'll, I'll yeah. listen. I'll literally start listening to it tomorrow because that makes complete sense. All like, of this stuff pops up in 
different cultures all around about the same time. It's all kind of happening at once. It's kind of like the 99th monkey thing. Did you ever get into that? No, what is that? So, like, you can have... I can't remember how this goes, but it's like... You can have monkeys on an island. Yeah. And they could be totally separate from all other monkeys in the world. But if all the monkeys over here, in like the mainland, figure something out, these monkeys on the island will figure it out too. They're dis- totally disconnected. It's in like the collective consciousness. consciousness what was that sh- what's that shit called your one boy talks about? Morphic fields. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. There might be something to that. I don't know. It might be have to do with this subjective consciousness thing. They must have been dumb as balls. Dude. These dudes were dumb as balls. They walked around and they thought that the words in their head were coming from God. And then they'd be like, that's ball. Obviously, that belongs to ball. All right, over here we got Baphomet. All right, cool. And it's like all of this shit is just completely, it's them hearing shit in their head and trying to make it, trying to visualize it so they can explain it to someone else. That's it. That is crazy because yeah. like, Human sacrifice could have very well, like, if you ever been, like, out and just had a real fucked up thought and you're just like, Jesus Christ, dude, like, chill the fuck out. Like, yeah. it could have been just some dude sitting there, like, throw that baby down the stairs. Every like, year I around. should throw that baby down the stairs. Every <laughs> year around Christmas, there's all kinds of shit all over the conspiracy threads about, oh, all of your, all of these rituals are pagan rituals. Yeah, they they are. used to sacrifice children to ball and all this shit. And it's like, who knows how long that went on? Good chance all this shit is true. Yeah, and we've kept around all of these things because they use religions as social control for mass social control, and that's what people with power want to do. Works good as shit. Worked on me for thirty years. Yeah, like the Roman Empire lasted. The Roman Empire was around when America was discovered. Really? Yeah. Yeah. So I, it lasted that long, and like you know, I would have been an issue if I didn't have any sort of like religious. Like moral. You know what I thought you should be, dude? What? And I think you kind of missed your calling. What? You would be a great psych hospital nurse. Oh, bro. Come on, man. I watched. I don't think I could deal with that. I watched a documentary on um, Bellevue in the 90s. (laughs) Dude, those guys are animals. But, dude, you (laughs) crave instability. It's funny. They need guys like you because it. Orderlies. They need big boys to wrangle some of these guys. I, I, like. In a past life, probably. Yeah. And like, dude, the thing is, like, you could you could fucking get busy with some of these boys, dude. I'm not trying to. The one guy says like five things. He just goes, "I hate it here. The medications don't work. I've been here for seven years. I hate it here. The medications don't work." And he just doesn't stop, dude. I I did this. Yeah. When I worked with that dude, Greg King. It was like I was happy, like yep. I was just like pumped to be around black dudes for the first time in my life. I was like, this is crazy. I know black dudes. He <laughs> every day just started going, Bill, Bill, where's Bill? Bill, yeah. where's Bill? To the point where like I flipped the fuck out one time <laughs> and then like new dudes would come in and I was absolutely fine. He's like, Where's Pat? Pat, where's Pat? Oh, you're a hard worker. You're a hard worker. And just keep on going. Yeah, I, but if you bopped around and you're like, All right, this guy needs Thorzine, whatever, you're just cruising around. It's a good job. I th- I think I could do the um the psych hospital, although it does creep me out. Like if one of those dudes started talking about like the devil's coming to get you and all oh, this yeah. stuff, I'd you be might like, get yeah, you might start listening too much. Why don't you calm the fuck down? <laughs> I I would probably at one point join him. There's times during the day where like it's like a, a like who let him out? You're standing there smiling. <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah, there's points in the day where I just have like a ru- it's almost like a tidal waves coming at me. Where I could just completely lose my mind and then the tidal wave. It's like a meteor coming for Earth. Yeah. And I'm like, can I completely lose my mind right now? That's crazy because I surf it. I'm like, I'm like, oh, here we go. This is happening. It's again. crazy. Yeah. And it's almost like a meteor misses your fucking brain. I was like, I could right now. I can just completely lose my mind and be fucking crazy for the rest <laughs> of my life. And the meteor just whizzes by <laughs> Earth. Yeah, and I man. have to keep on being normal for another fucking day. I've also had real weird shit going on with like going into the dream realm. Like I go to sleep, but I go to sleep and like there's an inner monologue. Like while you're going to sleep, you're thinking about stuff and then it ramps up and like people are always trying to give me knowledge and tell me things. And I'm like, I'm going to sleep. And then I, I literally just fall into dreaming now. It's fucking crazy. I don't know what the fuck it is, but it's like, it's like freaking me the fuck out where it's like, I'm not afraid of it, but it's just a every time like, oh yeah, I'm going to sleep. Like this shit's I'm starting to have like I'll almost kind of be at one point 
uh, in this week, I fell asleep, woke up, went back to sleep, but I went back to sleep. And I knew I was dreaming, but I was like in the dream bar. And I was like, dude, I want to go to the VIP section. Because I was in the dreaming bar, and I knew everyone, we're all dreaming. And they took me up to a golden room. It was like, this is the VIP section. And I was like, yeah, I shouldn't be here. And then I woke up. Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm jealous that you do all this. I have treacherous dreams, dude. Yeah. They're, they make no sense. You're, <clears throat> you're usually beasting most of the time. No, I'm just saying, like, in my dream, I don't know my dreams. They happen sometimes. Sometimes I remember them. But I don't, you know, I don't get that but the best sleep right now. Yeah, I think I've had one every night this week. Yeah. Maybe I should start fucking smoking weed. I don't know. I'm talking I'm I was talking to Tom today about just getting getting like in like good shape or something just because right. I I have to like go away and make it a priority. Yeah. Because like my job and my life makes this makes me worse. Oh yeah. You know, I'm just getting like worked like a dog and if you, it's just If you could program, perhaps join me. You could go, you could start, you could hit it. It's a very slow grind. And dude, I was watching a video on Eddie Bravo talking about getting stem cells in his shoulder. This dude's saying they're hitting it right where you need it. And he has full range of motion. Maybe the dude who told you it's impossible is a complete gatekeeper (laughs) and he will remain nameless, but there's a good chance that you could slowly just start getting the body moving, all the body moving. Cause like if you're painting every day, it's like the same shit. You're, you're like we were talking about the chiropractor stuff. Your body's resting in its comfy spots. You can start working out, moving around, and get a nice fucking regimen going. It releases endorphins. I mean, it literally gets you pumped up. Yeah, right. I th- I mean, that would be fucking goat. It does suck trying to do this, work, and keep your life together. It's fucking hard as shit, especially when you can't fucking go food shopping. When you can't go food shopping, you're always hitting ass meals. Like I ate like a retard today. You're just always hitting ass meals and like not. That's fucking. what I'm saying. Like you, you had it good when you had your when you were driving your truck. Like that was easier. Yeah. When oh, you're yeah. working for yourself, it's like it's chaos. It's a lot more responsibility. <laughs> it's a lot more stress. Like yeah. I'm gonna be stressed out about today's work until that job's done. And I, that happens. That's two. I got two of those jobs going on right now. Yeah. And you know I'm not sleeping. I don't have zero social life. I just work and That's I do this. Natural though. I know, man, but it's I'm getting a little tired of like the white pills because it's like I need to go away and get my body in shape so I physically feel good yeah. instead of not sleeping and waking up in pain every day. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I'm with tired that. of it. I'm tired of the whole oh, dude, things are gonna get better in the spring. I've been hearing that for fucking seven years. True. You know, I'm done with it. Keep your fingers crossed. One more spring. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, I'm tired. I'm tired because people do this to me like fucking. It's like carrot. Yeah. You know, like oh, just get this done. Just get this. Then it'll be this. Then your yeah. life will be better. Then your life will be better. Is we got it like you know that's a fucking fake god. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> at least you can peace out now and fucking get your body right. Yeah. I at just first wanna, you just had to fucking paint. Just let me get my body together and see if that's better than this. One hundred percent. I'm saying like it'll be better for you too. Oh like, yeah. Like if I get myself together, I'll be pumped if you. Because I'm not. There's no like. There's not a lot of miles left in this, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Unless you can fucking hit the gym. Yeah. We'll see. Well, I can't do shit in the gym. Like I have to try other things first. Uh, hydro workouts. Yeah. The, that would probably be good. Anything low impact, resistance bands, all that shit. There's li- we body weight shit. I mean, dude, fucking grandma's workout. They're fucking jacked. Yeah, They're but they bo- don't get gains, dude. They don't have results. But I'm saying, like, they yeah. get the, they can at least do it. You can probably get the <laughs> Any body transformations, bro. <laughs> uh, D- Donald Cerrone came out and talked about taking steroids. He's like, dude, I'm 20 again. Yeah. I'm well. injecting the shit in my body. I'm 20 again. I work out, feel absolutely fine next day, wake up, could work out again. Everything's fucking healed. Everything's recovered. <laughs> Put you in a fucking test tube, dude. <laughs> Stem cells and fucking steroids would be yoked. <laughs> just shave your fucking head. Nah, man. I'm just going to fucking try to get myself together. Yeah. I think we'll be all right. <laughs>